Alright, uh, here's the video of the Saiga 410. Um, Right now it's got the uh, 10 round magazine. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to take it off. See if I can do it for the video. Recording this. Bear with me, okay, there it is. Magazine removed. Um, there's gonna be uh, the holes here, and that's because of the where the old stock was mounted, uh, both sides. It didn't bother me that no, there's no, uh, it doesn't affect functionality. Uh, that you can have it covered up if you want, or I don't know. Yeah. Like I said, it didn't that bother me. No, there's no functional issue. Um, I used. I didn't use the EC um, uh, grip installation, which uses these holes, and, but it puts this grip right in the back here, and it doesn't look like an AK. So I used the uh, the grip that's mounted onto the trigger guard, which is perfect, pretty good. I'm gonna attempt to remove the cover uh, video. Taking this, so you have to bear with me. This over here. Alright. That's what it is, still stripped. Uh, there's the trigger assembly right there, that's Tapco made in US. Um, the puck inside is made in US. Uh, all these parts are US made. So this is really uh, 92R compatible. And it's got the uh, solar tactical magazine lock. Uh, these are the uh, upgraded spring um, spring set, and there you have it. Saga four ten. This, the good, the good part on this is it has this uh, uh, rail or scope mount that's built in. Uh, came with the rifle like that. All right. There's, there are two more. I have two more of these, so it comes with three. <laughs> 